just as was told, down came the angels, falling from cloud nine, with crippled wings, waiting to hit the ground so soft. These are the days when we shall touch down with the prophets, to guard and to guide you into the storm. This is the story of three Texas boys, busy minding their own business, when the angel of the Lord appeared in them, saying, when the Winston Churchills start firing their Winston rifles into the sky, from the Lone Star State, drinking the Lone Star beer and smoking their Winston cigarettes, you know the time is drawing nigh when the sun shall be lifted on high. We told them that didn't sound very sun to go to meet What do you expect, they said, when God calls them the crippled, deaf, and blind to lead the children of Israel into the promised land? The children of Israel, we asked. Don't your boys know nothing? The USA is the center of Jerusalem. Hello? My name's... Josh T. Pearson. I play guitar and sing in the rock and roll band Lift to Experience. Hello. My name is Josh the Bear Browning. Uh, I play bass for Lift to Experience. Is it working? My name is Andy Young, and we are at my mom's house in Denton, which is the oldest house in Denton, built in um, 1876, which in the grand scheme of things I realize isn't that old, but here it's pretty damn old. Texas is located about 30 minutes north of Dallas. 15 miles from the Oklahoma border. 35 straight north. Two hours from Louisiana. Can't miss it. From Athens to London to Paris to Rome, the stars are gonna shine. From here to Palestine. When the angels take flight deep from the heart of the dark Texas night. Denton is a very nice town for young people because you have the University of North Texas and you have Texas Women University. And it's a very nice town for the elderly people. I'd have to say that it's a town that can push you and pull you at the same time. It can kick you in the ribs and then uh, pick you up and take you out to lunch to have a beer. It's definitely different than any place I've ever lived or ever been for that matter. It's kind of a small town without the, the mentality of a small town. Before, um, I guess when this was like frontier land, like there were Indians that lived in this area and um, like, they stopped hunting here because they said that it was a place of dark spirits. It's kind of boring and it's really hot in the summer. It started out as a little one-horse town, I guess, <laughs> years ago. But now it's built up into a pretty good city. Den's one of the few places, at least in this country, too, that you can, you can still, like, walk around with a beer. And Denton is stereotypical of every other town you find across Texas, the grassroots of the Bible, Bible plumbers, Bible believing, God fearing Americans. Into the storm. God deserves our reverence, basically, you know. 
I, I depend on him for everything. Every time I get in trouble or close to it, he's the one I call on. My music is a penance. It's uh, my sacrifice to him. God backwards and sometimes I see God that way. In Texas there's two main places to play. If you're an independent band, Austin and Denton. Denton because 70% of the clientele that go to see shows in a DFW area are from Denton. There's definitely a lot of I don't know, music that's trying to push the envelope somehow, and when I say that, I mean just trying to like take music somewhere that it really hasn't been. There's a lot of jazz playing, and, uh, and it's a lot of country and western, and uh, if I had the choice to pick between the two, I love them both. I mean, I think the music here is absolutely incredible, and to tell you the truth, as far as music goes, I don't think I would really want to live anywhere else. If you want to make rock and roll and you want to do it well, it's a beautiful place because the uh, standard is set so high here. You're challenged every time you go to see a show to make your art better. These are the days marching toward us with vengeance in their eyes. These are the days racing toward us with blood on their teeth and lips usually people have no idea what to do with us if they have no frame of reference for what we sound like they're usually sort of baffled bewildered stunned and i can hardly wait to hear that great trumpet sound Pouring down out across the land These, these are the days That must happen to you These, these are the days That must happen to you I got involved with being a cowboy because it's a good life. There's something about a cowboy that they're different people, no matter what race they are or what color they are. I think maybe a better question is why I'm not in a real job. Oh, I don't know. All I've ever wanted to do is repair shoes and Big shoes. Playing music is starting to become my job, but it's something I like to do, and it's something that I can uh, express my spirituality in. Boots are a tradition. You know, uh, in the 1800s, a boot was a boot. In 2000, a boot still a boot. I've retired a long time ago. I used to be a seamstress, and I used to own a cafe but I'm getting too old for that now. So I sit in the shade and sell watermen. <laughs> I think a cowboy's life is the only life. Place your dreams in a bottle. Smash it to the ground. Slip off your slippers and dance all around its blood. Very cathartic and a 
it's just an overwhelming smell or sound. Like I think a lot of people, the religious stuff in our music kind of gets them because it's part of their past. They might not, they might not be like real religious now, but they 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 identify with that because they grew up around that. Uh, I, we play loud because you can feel it. It it can be a very uh, healing kind of thing. When, when you're absorbed in this loud wall of sound, you know. But to experience sounds like angels falling from heaven with crippled wings waiting to hit the ground so soft. I don't think that we're out to try to bust up people's eardrums just for the sake of saying that we're the loudest fucking band that anybody's ever heard. We play loud because we feel loud when we play and we have to feel it outside as well as inside because it's coming so much from what is inside of you or inside of us i could tell you where the texas jerusalem crossroads were but uh, i'm not going to the record really really takes you on a real long epic journey and it, it kind of sucks you in in a way that um Especially if you really sit down and listen to it, you know, um, not just kind of passively listening to it, but really sit down with the intention of listening to the whole record and like, like you would a movie. Did that answer the question?